All right, we're continuing on with the story, Living World Season 3, Chapter 5, Flashpoint. We're going into the heart of the volcano. We are in Draconis Mons, and we were at the Heathen Hold Waypoint. We took the thermal tube, which kicked us all the way up here, where we are now. There's our star that we're going to be going into the instance with. There are several achievements in this particular story instance. One is called Fancy Flying, where you have to descend into the volcano, the heart of the volcano, without being hit by destroyer fireballs. It's easier, easier done when you're in a party with more people. They can clear out everything and open up the chimney, is what they're calling it, and then all you have to do is just go drop down. There's one where it's called Go Nuts with Scanning. There are nine objects that you have to scan. You'll be given a scanner from Timey and just start scanning stuff. You've got to scan Timey. There's a barrier that you have to scan. There's three energy barriers. There's the anchor, the destroyers. You can scan the machine. Uh, there's Balthazar's hounds, Tegan and Timar. You have to scan everything. Just I, When I got that achievement, I was scanning everything that I could. If I had it before, I didn't care. I continued. Then there's one called Excess Energy. There's lingering fragments of Primordis and Jormag energy floating around. That one's a little harder to get because they're not in one area. They are floating in and around inside the volcano. If you don't know what you're looking for, they are a bit hard to miss and you cannot go back up to get them. There are six blue orbs for Jormag and six red orbs for Primordis. The Jormag ones leading from the entrance to the volcano core to where Timey's machine is located. And then the Primordis energy orbs are located above the lava where Primordis was emerged. And you'll, I'll show you more when we get down there what I'm talking about. Here we are inside the caldera, and if you remember, we got the Druid's protection. Here it shows me that I'm eligible to get fancy flying. But if you go to your achievements, you'll see that I've already gotten it. Timey, I've reached the volcano's chimney. The druid's ward is holding. I am feeling some heat, though. I'd expect you to work up a little sweat, but let me know if you experience a fiery death. Thanks. There's... looks like there's some sort of energy barrier here. Any ideas? I can describe it for you if you want. How about if I just take a look myself? You! Scruffy! He's fixed? Not completely. This is my fault. I wasn't going to let you go it alone. Balthazar's doing this, not you. But I gave him the gun. Anyway, Scruffy's mobile and heat shielded, but he's still lacking weapon capabilities. So I won't be much good to you. It's just great to have you here. Facing a god of war and all. We're sure in it deep, Commander. Here, take this scanner and use it on the possibly deadly energy barrier. Go nuts with the scanning. Here's your scanner. You're going to be using N. Scan the barrier. And these are the anchors that you're going to be scanning. Volatile energy field detected. 
field is not naturally occurring for this geographic location. And I guess that means Balthazar or one of his people the set it up. The energy barrier in structure case, maybe is it's fragile not perfect. Here. I can modulate your scanner to find any cracks in the armor. Let me see it again for a second. Try it now. Boundless intellect with infinite cognitive capacity detected. Designation, tiny, the magnificent. Funny. It didn't say anything about how humble you are. Hey, it's just a scanner. It only sees the world as objective data. Who am I to argue? Assessing weakness. Defect discovered. Please stand clear. Hooray! You didn't die! That's scientific progress. It looks like the field tried to purge its weaknesses. Collect those anomalies and use them against the field. That should do the trick. I'd glide up there myself, but, you know, I'm in two tons of steel. The heated air in here should give you a lift. Alright, what you're going to do is you have to gather that ball of energy. What you do is just start gliding and you'll automatically lift. And then rescan. Whenever you want to get close, once you scan it, another ball of energy, and then you're going to break another anchor. And then break the last one. Nice work. I'll monitor your descent and stay in touch over the community. Have a good, uh, plummet. This is the part where you have to avoid being hit by the destroyer fireballs. No. Another energy field. And some destroyers who don't like me airborne. Well, standard annihilator avoid tactics should work on the destroyers, and the scanner should disrupt the barrier. Same as before. Have you thought about... You know, there's really no other way to kill Primordus or Jormag. They're each other's weakness. Like Mordromopolis, it's mine. And with, without my machine, I don't think they're going to duke it out physically. Feels like that would be a disaster anyway. I can't believe we're seriously considering saving them. I know, but magic is so out of whack. If one more goes, all of Tyria might just collapse in on itself. If, if we keep them alive. How do we keep them from killing us all anyway? Hey, one problem at a time. At least we'd be alive to solve it. And just drop farther and we're gonna repeat for a third time 
once we break this last My center. My nearing the base of the chimney, but let me guess. Another barrier? You got it. And more destroyers. Many more. You know what to do. Destroyers, they just dropped. Uh, okay. So you probably guessed that roar was Primordis. We've passed the event horizon. The machine's on. We either let Balthazar kill the dragons and absorb the magic, or destroy the machine. <sighs> Don't plan on Bram ever talking to us again if we take Jormak off the table. I love that big dummy, but I'd rather be alive to try to explain myself. If that makes sense. Above the machine. In the channel of magic. What? Can you scan him? No life detected. Only magic energy present. No! Is the coast clear? Can I come down? There's a god and an elder dragon down here. You're welcome to join. state of paralysis. Looks like I was right. So what's going on with Balthazar? He somehow inserted himself into the system, and he's so magically adept. So in order to absorb... Okay, I'll admit it. I don't really know exactly what's happening. But here we are. What's ticking? What do you think? Destroy it. A murderous, overpowered god of war is too dangerous to keep around. Even if you're wrong about the deaths of more dragons devastating the planet. Agreed. Your kind will not stop my campaign. Balthazar, what you're doing, you'll destroy Tyria! Your home is trees. They have beaten me, dimmed my light, but they will see me now. If you won't stop, then at least face me, for the honor of battle, of war. Good thinking. A certain death sounds, but good thinking. I've learned there is no honor in war. But if you crave the glory of the fray, Tamar, Tegan, feast. You take care of them, and I'll start the overload process. K-9, signature detected. Designation, T.
concentrating heat for revival. It's down. Give me a second. I'll figure something out. Try this. No. Actually, yes. Try using your scanner to disrupt my machine. You're going to have to glide and try to energy disrupted. These are what you need to collect. Quick, hit the hound's corpse with the dragon energy before it revives. The dragon energy dispersed when you land in. You need to fire it at one of the hound's corpses while you're still airborne.
this does happen occasionally where it won't trigger the end. As you can see, the live health keeps regenning. So, structural integrity. Give it one more try.
as you can see, it's easier to, to target the dogs when they're separated. But with me just being solo on here, they group up. I did, I scanned the machine. But the dogs aren't at 1%. Sure. Are you sure? Guess we'll find out. But what is Balthazar doing? Okay? Yeah, yeah. The machine, it, it survived. Huh, what do you know? I was right. Tyria seems intact, so at least there's that. You see Balthazar? No. Looked like he was vaporized in the explosion, but he apparently doesn't like to follow the rules I know. And Primordus? Ugh. Let me check. Elder Dragon Spectrum. Primordus. Energy subsiding to pre-awakening level. Night, night, sweet dragon. Guessing the same thing happened to Jormag, too. Still, we should vacate this hot hole ASAP. We just spared two Elder Dragons, Timey. I had to say that out loud. I don't really believe it. Paradigm shifted, but I'm relieved I'm not responsible for the death of everything I know and love. Confirm that theory as soon as you can. I'm sure we'll have a lot of convincing to do when word of this gets out. I won't sleep until I... Ugh, on second thought... Maybe a little nap before I get started will be good for me. <sighs> Definitely do that. I'll try to find out what happened to our divine friend. 
With any luck, he's been scattered to the mists. At least we won the day, Commander. Score one for Dragon's Watch. True. And maybe one day we'll be a guild that can field a full team. Ha ha. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself. Rada Sim wasn't built in a day, you know. We'll get there soon enough. Oh, what a pleasant surprise.